Each month we try our very hardest to bring you the biggest and best exclusives. And these two guitars, the Iron Cross and the KH2 Ouija from ESP, are certainly exclusive. With a mere nine Iron Crosses and a total of six Ouija's available in the UK, we're lucky to even get a sniff, but a sniff we have. So let's zoom in and take a closer smell. <laughs> The Iron Cross is loosely based on Metallica man James Hetfield's heavily customised Gibson Les Paul Custom, and it features cool ageing courtesy of Bill Nash. The body boasts a gothic cross alongside a pair of EMG humbuckers with aged covers and an aged tunematic and stop tailpiece set. It's this three-way that selects the pickups, while this one is simply there to look cool, which it certainly does. There's another cross inlaid at the 12th fret, a bone nut, and James's scrawl decorates the headstock. If we hold the guitar up, you'll notice that the mahogany and maple body isn't quite as thick as that of a Les Paul, and if we turn it over, you'll see the guitar's rear also includes some cool ageing, plus a neat battery compartment for the 9 volta that powers the EMGs. So, with a wide open rock crunch, the bridge EMG sounds like this. <laughs> The Iron Cross doesn't always have to be set to stun though. With a nice full overdrive it sounds a little like this and we'll flick to the neck pickup halfway through. <laughs> There we go, that's Mr Hetfield's guitar, so how about Mr Hammett's? And here it is. The KH2 Ouija is, in effect, a reissue of a guitar that Kirk and ESP released in very limited quantities back in 1999. And amongst other reasons, it's different from the standard KH Ouija in that this white finish has never ever been released before, so let's take a closer look. The guitar is also loaded with a pair of EMGs, but here you can see that the Ouija graphic has been expertly applied to the pickups too. The graphics themselves are true eye-openers, and there are a number of different designs spread across the entire top of the older body. And the ebony fingerboard and striking mirror inlays are new to the spec. Finally, if we were in any doubt as to whose guitar this is, Kirk has happily signed the headstock just to be safe. So, using the same rock crunch as before, here's how the bridge pickup measures up. <laughs> Again, with a more subtle overdrive this time, we'll flick the neck pickup halfway through to show off the guitar's undoubted versatility. <laughs> There we go. If you can try either of these guitars out, you're in for a real treat as they both play wonderfully. So read the words in the magazine and see you next time. <laughs>